Hello, my name is Marie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing three lemon DIYs, which is part of the easy peasy lemon squeezy challenge. I'll talk more about that later. All items I use in this video and where I bought them will be in the description box. So let's start crafting. For the first DIY from the Dollar Tree, you'll need this decor sign, yellow paint, this lemon wood piece from Hobby Lobby, florals, I just need the leaves, scrap of paper and a glue gun. I remove the frame from the sign. Now I'm going to trace the backing onto some scrapbook paper. Next use a glue stick to adhere the scrapbook paper onto the backing. I tape down my ruler with some masking tape so I can make sure the letters are put on straight. You can use some Mod Podge on this to seal up the letters. I'm going to paint this wood piece with Apple Barrels Real Yellow. I used about two coats of paint on this. I'll add a highlight and then I'll put it aside to dry. The leaves on the other florals were too dark, so I changed them out for these brighter green ones. I'll use some hot glue to adhere them on. Now I'll set this into the frame, I'll add some extra embellishments, and I'll come back with the final reveal. Here it is all complete. I love how this turned out. I added the word fresh, a cute lemon sticker, and a bow. And I think it completes the look of this cute lemon decor sign. So today I'm participating in the Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy collab. Brenda Monner's Market is the host, and I'll leave her channel link as well as a playlist for the other creators in the description box below. So on to DIY number two. Items needed from the Dollar Tree is this wood palette, crafter square metallic marker, a chalkboard tag, the little box I got from Target's Dollar Spot, the lemon pick I got from Michael's, you need some white chalk paint, and this farmhouse fabric. You'll also need some foam, scissors, wire cutters, and a glue gun. I've painted the palette and this little box off camera. I'll give them two coats each of the chalk paint and I will continue to the next step. Next, I'll distress both of these using Waverly Truffle Paint. I like this farmhouse fabric. I'll be cutting out this part here where it says farmer's market. Next I'll take this fabric and I'll hot glue it right to the front. I cut out this little piece from the fabric. I'll hot glue it to cover up the hole on the chalkboard tag. 
Now you can use your metallic marker to write out the sign. I'll remove the lemons off this pick using some wire cutters. Next, we're going to hot glue this right into the box. Next, you could put in some foam pieces. Next, put in the lemons. I'll add the chalkboard tag and I'll come back with the final reveal. Here it is, a little farmer's market stand with lemons for sale. I think this came out adorable. I added a cute little ladybug and I think this would be perfect for a tiered tray. On to DIY number three. Items needed from the Dollar Tree are two wood posts. I got them out of the wood shop bird feeder pack, a wood crate, a lemon wood piece, a chalkboard tag, silver and white metallic markers, a spray bottle, I just need the cap, an empty glass jar that used to have little shells in it. You'll also need a dowel and a ruler, white and yellow paint, small pom poms, a hot glue gun, and I just need the leaves off of these flowers from Hobby Lobby. The first thing I'll do is remove these strips off the ruler. Next, mark off the area you need to cut off. I will use some miters to cut the ruler. You can use some sandpaper to file this down. Now I'm ready to paint these. For the sign, I'm going to spell out the word lemonade using these Dollar Tree stickers. Now I'll brush on some Mod Podge over the letters. After this dries, you can hot glue this lemon slice right on the end. Next, to attach the wood post to the crate, you can use some wood glue or hot glue or a combination of both. I'm just using hot glue for a quicker bond. Now it's time to make the mini lemons. You can carefully pull off the leaves from the back of the rose and then trim out the leaves and then hot glue them onto the pom poms. Look how cute the little lemon. I want to make a spout to make this look like a beverage dispenser. I'll cut off 7 8 of an inch off this dowel, but I'll color it with the silver metallic marker first. I've already have it pre-marked here. Now we'll use these dot clippers in the Dollar Tree to cut off two small pieces. Then you can use some hot glue to attach them together like this. I poured a little bit of this paint inside the jar and now I'll take a paintbrush and swirl it around. The paint was too thick so I added some water. I'm going to let this dry overnight and see how it looks in the morning. I also painted the inside of this cap from the spray bottle which is going to be a little glass of lemonade. Now the paint is dry and I'm going to put some of this Elmer's clear glue inside the cap. I 
I added a few drops of the leftover paint water to the top of the glue and this is how it came out. I think this looks perfect. Now I'm going to hot glue this right onto the jar. Here's a jar with the little spout or spigot, whatever you want to call it. But listen, this looks so adorable. I decided on a smaller chalkboard tag. I'll write 25 cents on this. I'll add these items to the lemonade stand and I'll be back with the final reveal. Here's the lemonade stand all complete with fresh lemons and cups ready for the next customer. Who would like some lemonade? I really think this is adorable. I love how this turned out. Here's a final look at my lemon themed DIYs. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting my channel and you like this content, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. Let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. Have a great and safe weekend. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.